So, maybe we are getting visited by aliens daily in all of these sightings of aliens. I don't have a problem with that. My issue is what you are presenting as evidence in support of that claim. If it's entirely grounded in your eyewitness testimony. All right, Vivian Gomez wrote on Facebook that her security camera captured this on Sunday morning. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, is it rolling? Can we do it again? Not believing in existence of aliens is like taking a spoonful of water from an ocean and saying there is no shark in the ocean because there is none in my spoon. Is the language barrier causing the aliens to not meet the common people? Is Area 51 really for the research of extraterrestrials? Did people really encounter aliens? Scientists have explored about 4% of the visible universe. Yet, there's a vast part, the other 96%, that scientists cannot see. So how can one be so sure that extraterrestrial life does not exist? Scientific speculations about otherworldly life, intelligence, and technology often rely on the Drake equation. There have been several instances where people have claimed to be abducted or contacted by intelligent life. The question is, how can it not be true when we have not even explored 96% of the universe? On 18th December 2012, people of Jodhpur experienced something that proves the fact that they Exist. It was just another normal day. But at 11.25 am, a very loud defining sound shocked the whole city. This sound came out of nowhere. The sound was as loud as an explosion. The deafening sound was somewhat similar to a sonic boom. It wasn't an explosion. It wasn't an airplane. It wasn't a fighter jet. Then what was it? I guess we'll never know until we 